Hey everyone, Sue here from 1A Auto, and today we're going to diagnose four-wheel drive in-op. Not not working, but intermittently working. <laughs> to do a quick diagnosis, I don't want to go deep into electrical, I'm just going to go right for make sure I vacuum at my vacuum actuators and make sure that my four-wheel drive motor is working at the transfer case. So I'm going to have Leinster, Lenny, give me a hand because you want somebody up in the vehicle so they can put it in four-wheel drive and you can check for vacuum and make sure that actuator is clicking in and out. Let's go. All right, so now we raise the truck up on a lift. So at home, you got to think safety. Safety, safety, I can't say it enough. Jack stands, make sure they're sturdy because we're going to start this vehicle and put it in four-wheel drive so that the wheels can spin so I can be underneath here. So I have a jack. It's locked in on the locks at home. Just do what you know is safe. So we're going to start her up. And this is the vacuum actuator at the back of this hub. And this is the vacuum line going down in there. So when Lenny puts it in four-wheel drive high, and then he's going to put the, let go of the actual brake and let the wheel spin. Now it's working at this time. So is this one. So four wheel drive is working. But that tells me that I've got a vacuum down here. Electrical's working. The four wheel drive motor on the transfer case is working because I got four wheel drive. What can make this intermittent? Well, that hub not being able to come in and out will make this intermittent. I know I have vacuum because it's working right now. Is my vacuum hub actuator faulty? Possibly. What does that connect to? It connects to the outside of that shaft, the CV shaft, and it has a nut that goes on it. And those are notorious for loosening up. Even though you torque them, they loosen up. Let me put her in neutral. So what we heard earlier was a growl noise out of this wheel. So that's why I know the problem is over here and not at that one. There was a, it sounded just like two gears trying to go together, but not lining up. That noise tells me that this shaft is not engaged. So we're gonna lower it, take this wheel off, and check for that nut loosening. So once you take your wheel off, you have your, the wheel that was making the noise. You get this little cap. I just take a pair of open pliers. Just wobble, wobble it back and forth and pop that cover off. You don't ever wanna put holes in there because you don't want water and grease getting in there. That yeah, should not do that. So now we're going to look up the torque spec. I'm going to take this off, make sure there's no damage to the threads. And there's no damage, I'm going to retorque it and let's see if it holds. So it's a 13 millimeter socket. Just going to put it on there. Yep. And it's so loose I can do it by hand. We'll check the threads out, both the nut and the. It looks actually really good. I think it just came spacked off, that's all. So now that I know the shaft threads are good and the nut threads are good. I cleaned them up with a little parts cleaner. I'm going to put some red thread locker on there. I'm just going to hand thread it. And then I looked up the torque specs and this nut is 20 foot pounds. So we're going to torque that. Make sure that this is centered. The axle feels like it's in the, in the threads. Get my torque wrench, 20 foot pounds. Tighten this thing down. Might need a pry bar. It's just 20 foot pounds, but let's see if I can use these pliers. Now we're gonna reinstall our cap. Make sure it's not damaged. It's nice and round. It's not oval shaped. <laughs> Give it a little tap. You wanna keep water out of there the best you can. Yeah, we'll put the tire back on and check it out. We did it. 2011 Ford F-150. Quick diagnostic. No need to go into the electrical. No need to go through any books. Just use a little quick common sense. What causes this to work? You can look that up real quick and know that it's vacuum operated. They're not locking hubs. So the first thing you want to do is intermittently. That means that it everything seems to be working in line, but what's stopping it that couple of times it doesn't work. Check for vacuum check for power. Motor could be intermittent 
or vacuum hubs, or vacuum could be intimate. We had vacuum, we had hubs spinning at that time, then we heard the growl, quick fix. Hope this helps, have fun.